fans are the most valuable and a heart of every single sport. This is the second home of every single fan. Here, they are coming to support their spectacular clubs and that is why they feel very proud when they are entering in the stadium. Sometime they will choose the blue half of the London or it can be the red half of Manchester as well or any because they are free to choose anyone who they want to support in their entire life. Fans are the ones who sing songs for their mesmerizing clubs. They feel very happy at the time of winning, but they feel very angry at the time of losing it. We all know he is George best, but actually who makes him best? They are the fans. Fans know how to praise their magnificent players when they are leaving this wonderful game to the next generation. Crying not because they have been relegated, but it is because they have achieved the soul of their life. Plus, during this endless debate of 21st century that who is the king of modern day football coming at a large number so their club will not feel alone at the time of playing. At the end, only thing they want is to support their country and club at any cost. But who they are, where they are coming from, the only identity they have that they are the fans. So we have picked some magnificent fans from around the world who are going to tell you their story, their love for this precious game called football. So let's go. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sekou Bilimu. I'm from Guinea Conakry and uh, I'm Real Madrid fan. So uh, Real Madrid is my best club in the world and Cristiano Ronaldo is my favorite player in the world not because he has scored so many goals but uh, because he does his job naturally. So uh, my dream is to go uh, one day to Santiago Bernabeu to play with him. My name is Rola. I'm a fan of Atletico Madrid. You can see this. I love football. It's an amazing game. Uh, everyone likes football. I, I used to support Atletico Madrid. And I love Fernando Torres. One day I will go to Atletico Madrid, Madrid City, Spain. And I will support uh, Atletico Madrid, especially my uh, love Fernando Torres. Hi friend, my name is Yasul. I'm from Afghanistan and uh, I'm a fan of, uh, fan of Real Madrid team and especially Cristiano Ronaldo, especially Cristiano Ronaldo. And uh, therefore I can say the, play, the playing football is not a game for me, it's a part of my life. And uh, the playing football giving me enjoying, giving me the motivation and something like that. I, I like Cristiano Ronaldo and my great ambition is to uh, visit him. At Hello, my name is Mohammed. I'm a football uh, fan and my favorite, my favorite team is uh, uh, Manchester United, this one. Then uh, one day I'll go to Antrofort and, go, uh, and make a support for my team. And my favorite player uh, is Martial. Every football fan have a dream that they want to see each and every match of their club at the ground. But sometimes it can't be possible. But still they want to see the match with their teammates. So what they're going to do, they have to come a sports bar. So here we are in outside of the underdog sports and bar. We're going to go inside because today is Manchester United versus Chelsea. This is, this is important because Joe Jose Mourinho is returning to Stamford Bridge. First time when he's all sacked by the Chelsea. So today, let's go and enjoy this match here at underdog sports and bar.
my name is Shivam and I'm a fan of Manchester United. Hi, I'm Pratul. I'm a Manchester United fan. Glory, glory, Manchester United. Hi, my name is Anshul Mathur and I'm a fan of Manchester United. It's been like good 20 years now and I've been following them like crazy. You can see that here, right here. That's Manchester United, man. Red Devil for life. Hello, I'm Samir. I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm following Chelsea from last eight years. And I believe it's the best club in the whole world. I mean, people are fighting over Ronaldo. And people are fighting over Ronaldo or Messi. But my favorite player is Eden Hazard. I'm a big fan of him. I'm following Belgium also because he's my favorite player. And the Blues, Chelsea Rock, man. Chelsea Rock. Hi, my name is Jatan. I'm a die-hard Man United fan. I've been following United for the last 10 years. I follow every single game and watch every single game. Please do the same. Follow United. Glory, glory, Man United. Hello, name Hello, my name is Sanskrit and I'm a Chelsea fan. I have started watching football since 2010 and I love Frank Lampard. Due to him, I love Chelsea. Today, Chelsea will beat United. I'm sure about it. Got her hands in her pockets and she's waiting for a downtown train. Yeah, and the high heel boots with the straps on low and her head hanging down in shame. I'm a die-hard Chelsea fan for the last 15 years and I'm so happy to be here watching this match today. I was, I'm in India for the only 10 days and I am so happy to be watching United Chelsea and Chelsea whooping United 4-0. That's my brother. That's my brother. He's a United fan and we... We'll, the house was divided today but... Let's not talk about it today. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. Hi, I'm Ed from London. Uh, I'm a United fan so obviously I'm not a big fan of football tonight because we just lost to Chelsea 4-0. Uh, what can I say? I've been a United fan for 40 years. I'm 40, so uh, I wouldn't normally be in Delhi, uh, but I'm enjoying it here. Football fans feel very happy at the time of buying the new jerseys of their favourite club because they feel like out of this world. Not because it's a new jersey, because it's a pride for them. So today we are at Puma. We're going to ask the member of staff about the enthusiasm of the fans because they are the first who see the fans after wearing the jerseys. So let's go. History became legend, legend became myth. But in the case of fans and football, they will never become the myth because they have this identity. This, this is shown to them they are the out of this world, they are something good, they are spectacular, magnificent, what can I say? And I don't have any bigger quote for them, but a lot of respect for them. So you can see here a lot of jerseys of football jerseys. This is Arsenal jerseys and this is Arsenal slippers alongside with 
the footballs you can see up here and what is the main thing is that this is the pride of every team when when the fans wear this they feel very happy not because this is only jersey this is a pride of them they feel out of this world by wearing this type of this although we don't have any name here you can put your name all your players name that's your choice but this is the one they want to be every single time like like you are a fan of manchester united arsenal imagine that this is jersey of manchester united or real madrid or indian super league any team that's the biggest fact is all about this is probably i can say that this is the pride this is the enthusiasm and this is the creativity of the company wearing by the fans if jerseys means happiness then it's the biggest pride for me the biggest honor to present in these jerseys because without without these we cannot show show to the others you cannot show to the others like we are the fan of this club hi my name is kamal i've been working with puma for last 10 months i'm the assistant manager for pacific puma so i'm i'd like to introduce about the puma jersey that we sponsor for the premier league so first of all i'm here to talk about arsenal today so arsenal is one of, uh, we, we, we being in delhi we have one of the highest uh, number of fan following of arsenal so we are the proud sponsors of arsenal jersey for the premier league apart from leicester city and uh, Uh, Borussia Dortmund in Germany, and uh, we are really very proud to uh, provide this uh, uh, to get this opportunity to provide this uh, uh, jersey and the team uh, team sport kit to the two uh, Indian fans as well. So I call the is one of the interesting discipline to study the human behavior. Earlier it was taken. just uh, for the clinical or the availability aspect where with the advancement of the civilization the aspect of the psychology has also been wider and wider now it is covering almost all spheres of human life uh, starting from the abnormality to happiness to technological and its performance in the industry and wherever the human being is engaged psychology is also being engaged so particularly in advanced countries psychology is covering the whole hemisphere to help the individual to improve the performance so to motivate him or her is uh, for all stages of the life whether the child or the old or the adults even the psychology studying the death and dying process also and one of the wing of psychology there about the parapsychology even after the death telepathy and all etc one of the interesting field uh, recently is sports and uh, sports is also technically it's a performance of the human being whether it is the individual or in the team so in both the aspect whether it is the individual or in a form of the team performance it is to be achieved it is to be of a quality it uh, requires the motivation motivation it requires uh, the aspect of its understanding how to deal with it to deal with the goals and objective and the performance in the sports is a subject matter of psychology so advanced country as well as other uh, group of the individuals or the field of the education sectors are employing psychologist to make better performance to make better uh, performer in the field of sports by studying their behavior by guiding them towards the maintenance of uh, their aspect of understanding actually each and every behavior is a result of information processing at the level of mind so how the individual engage in the particular type of sports activity is dealing with the information within his or her mind is deciding the performance quality or the target achievement sometimes he is also fail but how this failure can be modified or can be perceived as a, a step as a ladder in the hierarchy of achievement of objective in the given sports activity so psychologist assist the player assist the individual to understand the dynamics of the sports to assist the uh, to understand and to improve day by day its performance to deal with the team members psychology is studying many dimensions of the human behavior one of the interesting dimension in case of sports psychology and its fan 
for a particular game is observed that fans are always attached with their particular team or particular member of the team. That they they identify themselves with the particular team or the its member. So they always want their hero. They always want their team members to win to secure a better position in the performance. And the psychology studying the aspect of human behavior that this is a inbuilt tendency that that's why they are motivated. They are always boosting the behavior of player. even they lose the performance in the ground. They they want them, they boost them, they motivate them to achieve their goals in the field. And this is again the psychological aspect that we want to be. Member of the winning team, we want to be. This is the human tendency that we want to achieve the goals, whether it is a life goal or it is a short term goal. So this winning the goal, this taking the our our achievement of the given goal is psychology and that's also playing in the aspect of a fan of a particular team. That's why fans are always attached with a particular team, whether it is losing or again it is winning. My name is Sujay. Uh, I'm from Bihar. So today we are talking about uh, why there is no development of Indian football. So it is evident uh, as I have uh, had my personal experience with uh, football and the politics going on in it. So what we have had is that you can uh, compare uh, European football with Indian football. We see there they have different divisions. It's like under six, under seven. Then they have under six, uh, 14, 19, 21. So whatever the tournament there is, they have it in all the divisions. So they give their uh, players a chance to develop, regardless of how poor or how rich they are. You can see the example of Ronaldo and Messi. They had nothing. But today they are the superstar of the football world. But in India, you don't see it like that. If you compare uh, Europe and Indian subcontinent, they get physios. They get coaches, uh, they get their diet plan, they are provided the diet by the academy, they are given everything. You come to India, when we were selected uh, to represent Kurukshetra in the state competition, what they gave us was one short, one t-shirt and one lower, that's all they gave us. And yes, of course, the, the transportation fee. If you see uh, the number of players that Europe is producing and Indian subcontinent or Asia is producing, uh, there's a big difference. How many play Asian players you know that are playing in top flight? You know Shinji Kagawa? I think that's all that you may be knowing. But, uh, or Team Cahill from Australia. But if you are to see the number of Europe play European players that are playing in top flight, so they are in abundance. You will run out of counting if you are to count the European players. So even the uh, countries like South Africa, and they are also third world, third world country. They are also not so developed. So it it's not about uh, how much developed your country is. Actually, it's about the intention. If you want to dev develop your players or not, they are, they also fall in the same category as us. We are also third world country. They are also third world country. What we have here is that they are producing players like Yaya Torre, Samuel Eto'o, Dridier Drogba. Dridier Drogba is a legend in Chelsea history. But what we are producing, we haven't seen much. We only have Baichang Bhutia, we only have Sunil Chetri. That's all uh, only two Indian names that we know actually. And that's all we know in the Indian subcontinent. I don't think that people outside India may be knowing about them much. So it's only about your intention if you want to develop something in your players or not.